Alright guys, this video is for Vintage Electronics Geek, who had some questions about um, the actual process of measuring Synad. Um, more specifically, where the volume should be. Uh, so we're going to go through these um, three radios out of my collection, and we're going to do, um, you know, we're going to take three different measurements, and uh, I'm pretty sure they're all going to be different. So um, I'm not going to go through the reasons why you should measure synod or why not is it important and is it not important whatever your views are on it um it is something that does need to be measured um so on the uh, bench here we have president bill uh this is the am only model uh since this one was released they've come out with the president bill too um which also does uh, fm um, my T-Berry Stalker 5 and my Cobra 29 LTD Classic. So what this video is uh, not going to be about is a shootout between the three radios, like which one is going to have the better receive. I just picked three random radios, um, you know, in the hopes that we would get three different um, readings uh, for uh, Synad. Uh, which I'm sure we will, because I haven't touched this radio. Uh, this thing probably probably needs to be recapped, definitely in alignment. Uh, you know, this one probably the same, and, you know, this one is a new radio. So, you know, uh, we'll get, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get three different measurements. So we're going to do one at a time. We'll start off with the bill, and then we'll go to the stock of five, and then we'll go to the uh, the Cobra 29. And um, so the process should be the same for all three of these. Not should be, they are all the same. Um, so now the importance uh, for measuring Synad, you know, what, what's the prerequisites? So all these units have been on for, um, I think about an hour now. My signal generator, which is super important, has been on for a couple of hours. And I don't think Synad is, the, uh, the actual Synad is important to have, you know, it on, but it has been on as long as the signal generator has been on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go down the line. We'll do the bill, we'll do the, the stalker, and then we'll do the, uh, the Cobra 29. And I'll show exactly how my setup here is, um, you know, how, we, how I hook up, um, you know, my radios here and actually measure Synad. So now, it's super important to have a really good signal generator. You want something that's going to produce a thousand hertz tone reliably, because the synadder is going to be listening for that tone. So it's super important to have you know something you know better quality uh, than you know one of them little Chinese made boxes you can buy on eBay for eighty bucks. You know that's, that's just not going to cut it. So uh, you want good results. So you have to have good equipment not necessarily new equipment but you know good equipment um and if you have a you know communications uh test set that does synad i mean this the synad is kind of obsolete you know um a lot of those communications test sets from hp um ifr um you know all the other ones they're gonna just spit out a number at you you know they're going to do the cal it's going to do the calculations for you right there and then and show you a number right on the screen um but you know i don't have one of those um and i'm sure lots of you know us a lot of um people out there don't have um you know a communications test set this is a three four five six thousand dollar you know communications test set so and uh you get good results anyway with um you know, having this a Sonata and a good signal generator. So let's get to it. I don't want to make this video super long, um, you know, it's long drawn out things. So uh, let's get right to the connections here. So I have, if you look here, this is the connection for the Sonata, which is the red and black wire. The, uh, the jack for the external speaker that's right here. And then also this wire, which is soldered on the back to the same, the same, the two speaker terminals on the back that the uh, the jack is uh, soldered to. That way, we can plug this end to the radio, and then 
these wires will get connected to the Sonata. So you have to have, you know, uh, you have to have these wires here to hook up to the Sonata. Um, I'm sure you could, um, you can definitely use the, the, the speaker inside of these radios. Um, but it's just easier to have an external speaker plug with the wires, um, you know, coming out of the back. It's just easier. I find it easier that way. You don't even have to open up the radio. I've been meaning to put on uh, some alligator clips on this just to make things easier, but uh, I haven't. So I'll show you the uh, connections uh, now. So let me get this connected and uh, we'll move on with this uh, Synad measurement. Okay, so we have the Synada hooked up to the wires coming out of the back of the external speaker. Speaker is plugged into the actual unit itself. And then we have the signal generator plugged into the antenna jack. And that's the only connections you need for this uh, measurement. So now, if you can't get a spec on what the reading should be for 12 dB of Synada on this, I normally just shoot for minus 110 dBm. Uh, I find that that's a good place or a good um, base for um, you know any radio. If you're getting you know more than 100 minus 110 dBm, uh, great. Um, you know if you're a little bit less, you know maybe you can tweak the radio a little bit. Again, every radio is different. You know not every radio is you know you're not going to be able to get you know, uh, minus 120 dBm of, um, you know, sensitivity out of some of these radios. But I think that minus 110 is a very good base uh, average, I guess you could say, for uh, most radios. Um, so, yeah, with that being said, unless the manual actually has, you know, um, a, a Synad uh, spec, then, you know, that's what you should shoot, <coughs> excuse me, that's what you should shoot for when you're doing your alignment. Um, you know, again, radios like this, that you know, there's not much you could do to them anyway. But um, let's take a, a Synad measurement of this anyway. So start off at minus 130. That's the lowest this uh, particular uh, 8640 can go. Volume max. So you can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear that thousand hertz tone coming out of the uh, the signal. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, out of the uh, external speaker. Uh, so now let's raise the level a little bit. We'll go to minus one twenty. You can start to hear it a little bit better. We're still not at twelve dB of synad. Almost there. So again, volume is at max. So we're at minus 110, and we're actually doing better than 12 dB Synod. So that means, let me lower this. So now that means we can actually, we know that our measurement is going to be between minus 110 and minus 120. So now we can adjust the output level uh, on this particular unit. So sorry for the uh, the annoying tone, but... This is how it's done. Volume all the way up. We're not quite at 12. So we're at minus 110. Minus 111. 112. 113. You can see we're almost at 12. It's 114. 115, almost there. Minus 116. Just about minus 116. So there it is. It's gonna, the, the needle's gonna fluctuate a little bit. But that's it there. So this particular unit here, let me, this particular radio right here 
has a sensitivity of minus 116 um, at 12 dB a synod. So that's that's really good. So like I said before, we were shooting for, you know, minus 110. So this has, you know, minus 116. So this is actually a really good listening unit. Um, you know, so it goes to show you, you know, the size really doesn't matter, I guess. So minus 116. We'll go on to the... Uh, Stalker 5, and we'll see what's, uh, I'm assuming this thing's going to be pretty deaf, um, same, same for that, but, uh, let me get this one hooked up, and we'll see what this one, uh, we'll see what the sensitivity is on this Stalker 5. Alright, I got the Stalker 5 hooked up, uh, same way that the President Bill was, so in the back I have the antenna, um, the connector going from the from the uh, radio to the signal generator. Same connections for the Sonata, and the uh, the uh, one eighth audio jack is plugged into the back of the external speaker port on the radio. So we're at minus one hundred and thirty. Volume is max, and we can just barely hear some static coming out of the external speaker so now let's bring this level up minus 120 still don't hear anything minus 110 still don't hear anything minus 100 still well very very faint minus 90 can kind of hear it Minus 80, there we go. Now we're starting to get the tone. So, again, volume is max. Minus once, that's minus 70. It's minus 80. Let's go back down to 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, minus 74, we're almost there, 75, just about there, just about there, so at 75. So this radio's kind of, this radio's kind of deaf, so it doesn't really have, um, you know, the the sensitivity isn't where it should be. This should be somewhere around 110, you know, right around there. So uh, 75 is not um, is not really a good reading, but it's what expected from, you know, a unit that's never been uh, probably never been recapped, never been taken apart and aligned. So. Um, considering that, I guess, you know, it could be worse. So, this one was minus 75 dBm. Let's move on to the uh, Cobra 29. Alright, so now the Cobra 29 is uh, connected. Same way like the other two were. Um, antenna jack to the signal generator. Um, the uh, external speaker um, plugged into the back. And the... Uh, Sonata is connected to the um, to the other two speaker wires, same exact way. All right, so volume all the way up, and signal generator minus one thirty, and we're not hearing anything. Minus one twenty, I'm not hearing anything. Minus one ten, I'm not really hearing. I can kind of hear it, just just faintly. Minus 100, and we can hear it, and we're just about at 12, so it should be right around 100 dBm, let me see, minus 101, minus 101, actually, minus 100, exact, I'd say.
Yeah, minus 100. So, minus 100 on the Cobra. On the Cobra. So, I wouldn't say it's completely deaf. Um, could be approved upon. Uh, again, nothing has been done to this unit. Um, so I'm not surprised that it's, it's slightly deaf. Uh, you can definitely get 110 out of uh, most of these Cobra 29s. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that they're super listeners, but, um, you know, you can get them, you can get them better than, better than one, the 100, uh, minus 100 DBM. But that's how, that's how Synad is measured. That's how the connections, um, are made and that's how the volume should be. So, yeah, when you adjust the volume, you're going to see... That's going to fluctuate. But at some point, it's going to peak out, especially with the, vol <clears throat> with the volume all the way maxed out. So when you fluctuate like that, you, you know, you, you're definitely going to gonna get a, uh, a fluctuation. But the key is to always set this to the max and then set your signal generator to the lowest it can go. In this case, this one's minus 130, and then gradually move your way up. I don't normally start at 130. I've never seen a radio have, you know, uh, that kind of sensitivity. Uh, I usually just keep it at 110, and then, you know, m work my way either, you know, forward or back. Um, so that's how, that's how it's done. I hope that clarified, um... Uh, whatever questions you had about measuring Synod. And um, that's it for me, guys. I don't want to make this video any longer. All right, have a good one.